Well, what was once a dream come true is turning out to be a living nightmare for some people. Weddings are an event that many look forward to their entire lives. They spend months, even years planning for them. Our Cash Matt Locke talks to one local couple who's had to postpone their big day due to the continued spread of coronavirus. Madison Eschen and her fiance Harrison McBride have been engaged for a little over a year now. For the past few weeks, they've been gearing up for their big day, May 9th. I was in denial there for a little while. Um, I was like, I'm absolutely not moving the wedding. I'm getting married on May 9th. Uh, it's just going to be me and him. If anybody doesn't come, just they just don't come. And so I was in denial for a pretty long while. And then one night, I just kind of like was at peace with it. And I was like, you know what? It would probably be best because none of our grandparents were going to get to come. Uh, and we both have both sets of grandparents. So. The ceremony isn't the only thing the couple has had to reschedule. We had a honeymoon planned in Costa Rica right after the wedding, and when Costa Rica <laughs> went on full country lockdown, we... They canceled we, it for us. Yeah, we realized that things were... Uh, the plug is getting pulled on this one. Postponing an event can have a negative trickle-down effect on area vendors like dress shops, caterers, and even florists like pedal pushers here in West Point. Scott Reed started pedal pushers 18 years ago. Since then, he's dealt with cancellations a few here and there. We've had events cancel, but never, you know, something like eight events in a 10-week period cancel just back to back to back to back. Although weddings are a big stream of revenue, Reed says the coronavirus is impacting his business from all angles. People aren't even going to church. You know, a big part of our business are altar flowers every Sunday. And I mean, we're not even, we've had people calling every week, canceling their altar flowers because they find out church isn't happening this week. The domino effect of the virus is putting a strain on both the consumer and the vendor, but both are choosing to remain positive. I've had clients that have called and ordered flowers just for themselves, and I know they're only doing that because they, they love us and they appreciate us and they're trying to help a little bit during this time. It's nerve-wracking, but we've been together for six years, so what's seven? You know? <laughs> Cash Matlock, WCBI News.